Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about skills that are needed that you need to acquire if you want to become a Jira consultant. Now in the previous video we talked about uh, how to get started in the field of Atlassian tools, especially in case you want to start your career, in case you think you uh, can become a Jira administrator or a consultant or maybe a developer. So I talked about uh, the path that you can take. Now, let us focus on skills in this particular video and only skills. Starting with, of course, the basics and the fundamentals. So in case you want to start your journey, in case you want to learn Atlassian tools, and I'll focus mostly on Jira because that is, that is the most uh, important tool uh, from Atlassian. So to learn Jira, you don't really need to know too much. Of course, uh, you need to have a keen, a very keen interest in uh, learning uh, Jira or uh, other Atlassian tools. But if you have some previous experience working in a software company, maybe you are doing something in IT, you are maybe a software engineer or you are doing a project manager, I understand that uh, people who are into project management or any leadership role, maybe you are a project lead or you manage a team, then I think it makes sense that you also learn Jira in case that is relevant, in case you think your company is using or thinking of using a, a, a tool like Jira. So definitely with some previous uh, IT background, it is actually very simple and easy. Things are quite uh, uh, straightforward when it comes to start using this tool. Even if you have no previous IT experience, you can still learn Jira if you have a basic understanding of how web uh, work. Uh, I mean, uh, if you're using, uh, let us say, Twitter or LinkedIn, or uh, I'm sure you're online, I'm sure you are using some kind of social networking sites, or maybe you know how a website works. And to be honest, that is all you need to know in the beginning, because if you want to just learn the tool for your usage, then uh, definitely uh, a, a simple understanding of how web technologies work uh, is more than enough. And you could be also a student, let us say you are in college and you are uh, doing your engineering or you're doing some computer course, then I, I think you're already uh, quite uh, uh, familiar with the different technology. So I think Jira, learning Jira and getting started is absolutely, it should be simple for you. Now talking about uh, the next step, and we talked about this next step uh, in uh, the previous uh, video as well. Uh, so if if you just want to use the tool, and that is all you need to do, and you need, you, you, you need to, of course, uh, understand uh, in the beginning, the fundamentals, but uh, you may want to become an admin. Maybe you, um, and, and by the way, there are a lot of jobs where if you already know how the tool works, if you have some understanding of Jira, let us say you are, a, you're applying for a project manager role and uh, you have mentioned somewhere in your resume that uh, you have uh, a working, a good working knowledge of Jira, then I think that is a really plus point. I have been saying for many years that Jira is, uh, is actually a competency. So mentioning Jira on your resume can uh, help you a lot because uh, uh, it is a tool. And uh, if you can work on the tool to solve problems, you need not to be a Jira administrator. You can just be a project admin or uh, you know how the tool works. Then I think that is a, a very good start. And I think for some, or I, I think I should say for many jobs, uh, having a good understanding of these tools is uh, quite uh, desirable in the industry. But of course, since we are talking about uh, becoming a Jira consultant, after you have uh, uh, you have learned how the tool works and you have a decent working knowledge, then you can of course start by looking at the administrative aspects of the tool. And the very first thing that I, I, I would recommend is uh, learn how to customize the tool. So Jira, as uh, we all know, is nothing but a very good issue tracking tool 
but the great thing about uh, this tool is that you can customize it. You can actually customize Jira to uh, match your requirements to 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 basically uh, modify the tool as per the needs of uh, the team or the organization is I think a, a great thing to have in uh, any tool. You don't have to 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 basically change the way you work just because you want to use the tool. It should be the other way around. So Jira can be modified. Jira is quite flexible tool and uh, customization is the logical next step when it, when it comes to learning the Jira administration or Jira admin, admin activities. If you want to maybe apply for a job in a, in a company or in any organization where they are looking for Jira admin, administrators, then uh, customization is uh, definitely uh, the main thing that they will be looking for. But of course, there are different types of uh, uh, Jira administrators. I mean, of course, uh, apart from customization, you can do quite a lot. For example, uh, there are activities that will involve, uh, uh, let us say, installing or uh, upgrading Jira or any other classroom tools. Uh, let us say Confluence, because Confluence is also very popular. People use Confluence with Jira. So, most of the, uh, I mean, I, I should say majority of uh, Jira instances, Confluence instances or Bitbucket instances, they are usually running on uh, Linux. I mean, of course, you can also use Windows Server, which is not uh, massively difficult to manage as compared to, of course, Linux. If you have been working on Windows, then uh, I think you already have a decent understanding. So I think... Uh, if you want to go a bit more technical, if you want to uh, add more things to your skill set, you're already quite familiar with Jira customization, but uh, if you can also learn uh, Linux, of course, uh, there is no limit to what you can uh, learn. Um, apart from Linux, apart from uh, a good understanding of how Linux works, you can maybe spend time on CentOS or Ubuntu. It is, it is totally up to you. That is not really the main thing that uh, I would worry about. I think if you have any experience uh, managing a server, then I think that is great. Let us say if I give you a blank uh, Linux server and I ask you to install Jira. So you can't really just install Jira straight away. You will do some setup on the server. And uh, when it comes to upgrading uh, existing Jira, application instances and uh, you also need uh, uh, pure Linux admin skills. So that is why I mentioned Linux here at the very top. And apart from that, I think if you have a, a, a good understanding, not really an expert level, but a good understanding of databases, and I, I should also add uh, Java, I mean, not really Java for programming, but uh, if you can install Java, or maybe if you can also, I should I should probably add here Apache. So Apache, Java, Dav and, and databases like MySQL, uh, Oracle. You don't need to like know each and everything, but if you can install these things on the server, I, I think that is the main thing that uh, companies are looking for. Now, when it comes to Linux, I should also mention uh, Shell. Now, let us say you have a Linux server. On that Linux server, you have to configure backups. And when you have to configure backups, you might want to take the backups regularly. You want to take the backups of the home directory, of the install directory, of the database itself. Uh, maybe you want to take the backups of other impor important configuration files. And uh, you want to take those backups regularly. You want to move them to a different machine. So if you also know a bit of shell scripting, which I think is Probably, I, I should say, it is, it is a part of the whole Linux uh, skill set. I think uh, if you know Shell uh, along with Linux, I think that is uh, great. And I think uh, if, if you know these things, then uh, you can not only customize the tool, but you can also maintain the server and uh, upgrade it if needed. So when it comes to Linux, I, I don't think you need to be like super expert level, but I, I would still say uh, uh, more than decent or you should be good in uh, in uh, Linux because there are so many things that you need to do. Uh, let us say you want to check uh, uh, the, uh, the, the services that are running and uh, maybe you want to up update the system. You should know how proxies work. You should know how, how firewalls work. So I, I think when you start uh, diving into the op 
operating systems and uh, managing the servers and i think uh, you will come across a lot of uh, things that are needed to maintain a server and by the way these things are not really just relevant for uh, jira of course we are talking about jira and uh, these things are must have if you want to become uh, a good jira administrator now i, I should also mention here that uh, although we are talking about skills but you don't need to acquire each one of these skills that i'm talking about i think if you have uh, i think more than 50% of these skills and i think you're already in a good uh, in a good position but if you're thinking of becoming a jira consultant then uh, try to acquire at least 50% of whatever skills or things that i'm talking about and i'm focused on uh, not just consultant but a technical consultant who can do a bit more than uh, customization now if you are talking about uh, becoming and thinking of, uh, about becoming a technical consultant then i would also mention here scripting uh, now you may be on a server or you may be on the cloud version of jira uh, in, in in both the cases if you can script in uh, let us say groovy or maybe you can script or maybe you can write uh, code in java or maybe a bit maybe if you can do a bit in node js so I, i'm not saying you need to know how the uh, uh, development of uh, jira app sudden but i think if you have a decent awareness or understanding of uh, programming in general especially uh, things like groovy java node js javascript a bit of html a bit of java uh, a bit of uh, css then i think uh, you're in a good shape because uh, uh, if let us say you have to modify a script it written by a developer or maybe you have to do some tweaks here and there or maybe you found a script somewhere online and if you can just modify it if you can read the script and modify it then i think that is a good start but of course there is no there is no limit to what all you can do I, i'm using groovy here uh, because uh, i'm talking about uh, script now for jira both on server and cloud and that is one of the most popular tool or app that uh, companies use so script now uses uh, groovy and that is why i have mentioned it here not talking about uh, programming in general of course uh, that is uh, always good to have you uh, may come across uh, situations where you will be asked to integrate jira with other tools uh, maybe that require uh, a bit of uh, knowledge around uh, how the json works maybe you have to create some scripts where uh, you might need to send data to another tool or maybe data is coming to jira to create an issue or to update something so a lot of things can be done using rest api and when it comes to rest api you uh, need to have a bit of programming experience uh, I, i would say at least above average uh, I, i don't really want to say on the scale of 1 to 10 maybe f- a bit more than 5 but uh, some experience some programming experience is always great and i think uh, as and when required i think if you can uh, uh i mean if someone gives you a script or maybe ask you to write maybe few lines of code then you should be able to and i think that is a good start but of course uh, as you proceed further uh in your career you can uh, think about uh, which areas here to focus more on and by the way these these skills that i'm talking about these are like in addition to the previous one so start with these skill sets then uh, i mean i'm sure you these are not really skill set but uh, these are more like prerequisites uh, so if you have these prerequisites you can start learning the tool then of course move on to the next level the the next uh, logical step is of course uh, uh, you can uh, think of becoming a consultant now if you're a consultant you are already uh, admin as well and bare minimum i think you need to bare minimum i'm talking about the very uh basic and fundamental thing that you need to uh, fundamental skill that you need to acquire is the customization aspect so if you know how the tool works and if you can customize it then you can move on to the next uh, level definitely i mean uh, if you know other things like if you know the technical aspects and that is wonderful that is great and uh, that is of course relevant for people who are looking to become a technical consultant now talking about consultant uh talking about consultation <clears throat> now first of all we have to understand what exactly consultants do and how how they are different from administrators now usually administrators they are like 
usually behind the scenes they manage the server they manage the jira instance and uh, they respond to the the support request for example um they install the server they install jira so they are they are usually behind the scenes but sometimes they also need to help users in understanding how the tool will work so they can do a bit of training as well like i've seen in companies where jira administrators are supposed to help or train other users and depending upon the needs of the users the training could be around the basics of the jira uh, or other attachment tools or it could be training other administrators or it could be training uh, project leads or project managers so jira administrators can also do training but when it comes to consultation consultants are more more or less like business analyst or this is something that they do quite a lot for example let us say a company approaches me to um, set up or do something with jira or atlassian tools now in the beginning i i won't just go and install jira and uh, give them the tool after two days of customizing it and ask them to okay go and start using it a uh, business analysis requirement gathering is really important because in the beginning you have to understand what they are trying to do with the tool what problems they have what all requirements they are trying to achieve and how jira can help them so business analysis is a very important aspect of uh, uh, of of a consultant also talking about pre sales pre sales is very important if you are working for a partner or maybe you are running your own company or maybe you are a freelancer you will be required to help the sales team in selling the tool as well uh, not really selling in a traditional way but uh, let us say there is a company and they are thinking of using uh, one of the app one of the jira app called let us say uh, easy bi so easy bi is one app that can be used for reporting purpose but they are also confused with uh, other similar apps uh that can do a bit of reporting and they are not sure whether they should be using uh, jira inbuilt reports or easy bi or they can just focus on some external tool like power bi for reporting so you need to understand uh, you need to have a good understanding of not just uh, atlassian tools but also other apps and when you have that knowledge you will be asked or you will come across a lot of situations where uh, you will be, you will you will be explaining the explaining to the customers that uh, these are these are the tools these are all the features they will be uh, maybe asking you to do a demo for them and pre-sale is part of the overall initial process of uh, selling so of course you have uh, sales people they are they are of course more uh, qualified qualified to manage and talk to the clients but uh, when it comes to the technical aspects of the tool when it comes to the technical queries as a consultant you will be required in the initial pre-sale process pre-sale process and imagine when you uh start the work you will be doing solution designing you will be doing a bit of uh, architecture of the solution itself uh, of course jira and other atlassian tools as i mentioned before they can be customized quite a lot and the way you customize the tool needs to be relevant to the actual requirements to the actual uh, uh, use case and specific needs of the customer so designing the solution and uh, a bit of uh, how systems work uh, and how to build a system is always uh, uh, is always desirable and as a consultant you will be doing a lot of trainings you need to do a lot of training so you need to have a good uh i think you need to have decent or or i should say good communication skills you should not hesitate uh giving demos and talking and training in front of uh, a group of people so and of course you can only be a trainer when you know your stuff so you can only train someone when you know how jira works you know you, you because people can ask you any kind of question uh during the training so having the technical background is of course necessary but training uh, is of course more on the uh, on the soft skill side also something similar uh, you need to have some problem solving mindset you can have multiple solutions to solve a problem but you need to select the one which is applicable uh, or i should say which is uh, which is suitable 
and uh, that won't cause any problems uh, in the coming uh, six months. So your solution should be scalable. Don't uh, don't recommend your customers to create uh, custom fields without any reason. Try to uh, reuse the schemes. Have some backup policy. So when you provide a solution, you need to. <laughs> think about the best solution and something similar to problem solving is of course analytical skills if you have some technical background already maybe you are doing maybe you are doing engineering or maybe you have been working as a software developer or software engineer and you you know how programming uh, is done then i guess this is also uh, a good skill that you can uh, probably think of improving from time to time whenever whenever you get a chance uh, try to uh, think about uh, how to solve a problem that can be reused can be uh, scaled for uh, different use cases and something similar to training is uh, workshops so workshops are not exactly training because training is usually like you're, you're saying something and people are listening and they occasionally ask you a question. But workshops are usually conducted to uh, help the customers in requirement gathering. Maybe you, maybe your customers don't know uh, what they are looking for, but you need to ask them the right questions. And you can only ask them the right questions when you have the experience or when you have the uh, when you have that problem solving and analytical uh, mindset. So you will be doing a lot of workshops and as you probably guessed already <clears throat> when we're talking about uh, being a consultant it is not just about technical skills it is also about uh, it is something similar to how you build uh, a product in this case of course we are using tools and we are uh, customizing those tools so you need to have uh, a decent understanding of uh, software development life cycle of course not only for designing the, the solution and providing uh, help or giving help to your customers uh, using the Jira but uh, if you know STLC if you know uh, concepts of agile then I think uh, you can ask them the right question so having this knowledge of STLC and if you can do a bit of project management as well because uh, you know when you're doing these things you need to know things like what is a like a requirement document what is a what are specifications and uh, you you will be coordinating quite a lot with the customers so a bit of project management activities will always be there for you uh, you will be planning your uh, pl planning a lot of things uh, right from the very beginning like right from the initial pre stage pre sale stage to the very end and uh, there are few other things that i wanted to mention <clears throat> like uh, you will be asked to provide estimations. You might also be asked to write proposals because that is what consultants do, uh, along with, of course, other people. They are, of course, spe other specialized people who do these things like estimation and proposal making. But a, a bit of knowledge is always appreciated. Talking about uh, what else uh, we can do as a consultant, uh, things like uh, auditing. Let us say there is a Jira instance running in an organization for the past uh, few years. So they might ask you to review their Jira configurations, their processes. So you will be doing a lot of audits, uh, audits uh, not only related to Jira, but also covering aspects of performance. And uh, uh, one thing that I also wanted to mention is the reporting needs. People use Jira for issue tracking, but they also need to report on it because based on the reports, people, people take decisions. So if you have a good understanding of various kinds of reports, people can uh, uh, generate using Jira, then that is wonderful. There are a few other things that I want to mention. Uh, we are not done, done yet. And uh, let me find the page that I was looking for. <clears throat> okay. So, we, we of course, we are talking about uh, Jira and Confluence and Bitbucket, but uh, you need to have a decent understanding of uh, other Atlassian tools. So, okay, you, are, you know Jira very well. Great. But if you have no previous experience working on Confluence, then uh, I think that is probably not the best thing. You should know other tools as well because people use Jira along with other tools, not just other Atlassian tools, but also think about you know what tools people use for doing similar activities to solve their problems. Uh, I want I also want to mention in this uh, video some apps, and I think this video is getting a bit long, but I think that uh, that is probably uh, uh, fine because I want to cover most of the things to help you guys so you can focus on 
what things you need to learn so this there's no price for guessing you need to learn script runner you need to uh, know how automation works so script runner both on server and cloud uh, and on server of course it is uh, using the java apis on cloud it is rest api if you can if you can learn how the automation works on cloud that is wonderful you should know i think uh, advanced roadmaps you should have a decent understanding of scrum and kanban if you also <clears throat> if you also know safe <clears throat> i mean depends it depends really on the requirement but a bit of knowledge around safe is always i think uh, desirable especially when you're working with big enterprises some apps like tempo which is used for time tracking uh, app like uh, structure which is basically used for visualizing the relationships between different types of issues using issue links and uh, uh, subtasks for example uh, app like easy bi for reporting insight for asset management and insight by the way works really well with uh, jira service management your uh, jira service test projects apps for uh, test management like zephyr x-ray test man management for jira and uh, better excel exporter Th these are of course some of the apps that uh, i wanted to cover because uh, these are apps th th these are the apps that are used quite a lot in the industry so in this video i just wanted to cover uh, different skills so that uh, you can think about uh, uh, what things you need to learn maybe you know already quite a lot of them and uh, maybe you uh, are thinking of uh, focusing your career in a specific field maybe you are uh, looking for doing something a bit more technical or maybe you have never really done uh, consultation before so i hope this video will give you some guidance and some help and do let me know if uh, you want me to cover any specific area <clears throat> like i covered in the previous video in the previous video i of course talked about how to get started uh, but this video was a bit more uh, in depth and uh, and a bit more specific so that is all i wanted to <clears throat> cover in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much